Now, I'm going to talk about a very important teaching called God's Nature Bible Study and Preaching Method. Actually, all these teachings I learned from God. God taught me this. I thank God for that. It really helps my life and helps my ministry. Because our ministry is to glorify God. To let people know how wonderful He is. To declare the one who has saved us from darkness into life. So, this is the purpose of our ministry to glorify God. And there will be two Bible study or when we preach. We want to let people see how wonderful God is. Now I want to say this, a lot of times when people teach, sometimes they can do this, it's like just uh, teaching people to obey. It is important to obey. But our main teaching is not to teach people to obey. The main teaching is to let, let people see how wonderful God is. So that people will appreciate God and love God above all things. Because the greatest commandment is to love the Lord your God with all our heart, all our soul. Now sometimes people just preach like this. That you have, you know, you have certain sins, you have things you have to overcome, you have certain difficulties. And how we should repent and then obey. Then it becomes like moral teaching, teaching people to change. It is very important that in our teaching we let people see how wonderful God is. I will demonstrate that with some Bible passages now. And then Matthew 922. Um, now we have looked at this passage before, but now we do it as a Bible study or more okay. preaching method. Jesus turned and saw her and, and then he said, Take heart, daughter, your faith has healed you. And the woman has bleeding for many years or 12 years and she has spent all her money According to the law of God, she is unclean. She's not supposed to touch people. But she was sick for so long and she was, des was desperate. And then she mixed herself in the crowd and then secretly touched Jesus' clothing. Because she was afraid to be discovered. 
But Jesus immediately said, Who touched me? Yesu hakata haraku wangu nindu mwaseho. And she dare not say anything. And Jesus says, someone must have touched me because there is power coming out from me. And then the woman admitted that she has touched Jesus and she was healed. She has done something wrong because she was unclean. So we can imagine that she was afraid because you know because she was unclean and made everyone unclean. She was afraid Jesus might rebuke her. And she might think Jesus might say to you, How would you? Why did you just why did you touch me secretly and touch everyone else? But instead Jesus says something that really shocked her. Jesus said, take heart, daughter, your faith has healed you. Take heart means have courage. Or don't worry. So the first thing Jesus said was responding to her feelings. Because she was afraid. Let me ask you this question. Have you been in the past that you were hurt by someone and then you were unhappy? And no one seemed to care. No one cared about that you were very unhappy. Has it happened to you? There are many times that we were unhappy, but no one noticed, right? But Jesus noticed it. And then she responded by showing that she, he cared about her feelings. Do not be afraid. So Jesus first responded to her feelings and cared about her feelings. And secondly, he called her daughter. That's very intimate. That there is personal relationship between a father and a daughter. And the, the, the woman must be very comforted that Jesus called me daughter. And then Jesus said, your faith has healed you. It's not what you do, but that when you believe, then you receive this healing. Now from this, what Jesus said, what can we see about Jesus' nature? Now this Bible study or preaching method is called God's nature, Bible study or preaching method, God's nature. So first we think about what this passage tells us about the nature of Jesus. Now there are a few natures that shows you can write this down for this passage. Yes. That there are a few natures of Jesus that were shown. And you can write down. First nature, he is all knowing. He knew the woman's heart. He knew the woman's fear. So he said, Don't worry, don't worry, do not be afraid. 
Anangia ti bui ganyire, nuti nye umura. So he knew, he knew your needs, he knew all our needs. Yara yuzi ibjifu zonyawa. Is the jifu zonyawa chotwese. Okay, the first nature. Yoni kamere ni anchamu si mitere ya mbele ya yusu. So when we are in difficulties, he knows our needs. Pero iyo tulimuri hevi kora nye ibjifu zonyawa chotwese. Now you can apply it to all situations. Kandi ikyo, yusu wa mchenera mubihe ibjia kiyo kiyose. When you are very difficult, he knows. Pero waba uri mubihe, nikuruhi shechane. And the second nature of Jesus there, he cares. He cares about, you know, this woman is a desperate woman. She has nothing. But he cares about a little woman. A woman who has lost all her money. So from this nature we know that Jesus cares about you where you are. No matter how difficult it is for you, he cares about you. When we try to bring someone to Jesus and they reject us, Jesus cares about our feeling. The third nature of Jesus. No, no, He knew our feelings, and then he would do something about it. He will not neglect it. He will come to help. So when you come to Jesus, He will help you. Actually, before we come to Jesus, the Holy Spirit already moves in the heart that He want He He wants to care about us and heal us. So he cares about it and he does it to every single person in the whole world. Even to the non-Christians, God tried to move their heart but they don't accept Jesus. But Jesus cares about each person and try to move in their heart to draw them to Jesus. Okay, and then fourth nature. No, no, He's a God of relationship. Now God can live in heaven far away from us. And then you live down on earth. No, no, When we go to heaven, God can sit up on the throne. And you all stay down there. But God is a God of relationship. He wants a close relationship with us. So He calls us sons and daughters. That means we can have this intimate relationship. Actually, the Bible tells us that Jesus lives in us. So the relationship is so close that He is in us. And this relationship is very intimate. There are a few relationships of us with God. First, we are the people He saved. And then we are the people of his kingdom. And then we are his friend. And then we are his children. And then we are the bride of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So we have all 
all this precious relationship. It depends on how far you want to go. God wants all the relationship. But some people just want God far away. But if you want to say, Lord, I want to be your bride, want to be close to you, very close relationship. And then God is very happy to have this close relationship. So every time you come to God, you say, Lord, I want to go deeper into you. I love you. I believe in your love. I need you. I hold on to you. God is very happy to bless us. Okay, the next nature He's a healing God. He healed the woman. In him there is health and com completion. In God we become complete again. So he can bring a complete life to us. And the next point is easy to get his blessings. You just believe. Now believe is actually is receiving. If I give something to you, you just need to receive it. So you just say to Jesus, I need you. I need your help. Please give it to me. I believe you give it to me. And he'll give it to us. Hallelujah. Very easy, right? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you say, I want more anointing. And then you say to him, Lord, I want more anointing. But the most important of all, I want your love. And also above that, I want you. I want you, God. Not just the gifts. I want you. But when we know his nature, we know how wonderful God is, it's easier for us to come to God. Now, just now, hallelujah. hallelujah. Now, have you noticed this simple passage tell us so much about God? Okay, let's go through that again. First, God knows our hearts, right? Okay, second, God cares. And then number three, He does something about that. Actually, one more, I forgot. He can heal our heart and uh, you know he can heal our heart so he can comfort her heart. Okay, you can add that. He's he can heal the heart and the body. The and then number five, he's a God of relationship. He wants you to go deeper in the relationship. The deeper we are in God, the more we enjoy life. The, the deeper we are in God, with, the more strength and blessings we'll have. And then also, it's a well, I didn't, you can add a lot too. Another point is, it's free to be his children. It's a free gift. Now some of you might say, I want to be the son of the richest man in the world. 
But now we are the son and daughter of the richest God in the whole world. Hallelujah. And also God is a healing God. And the way we receive it just by faith. It's a free gift. When you know about God's nature like this. Do you feel more confident? And you can enjoy his relationship. So we can put it in a prayer. Now I put it in a prayer. Put this passage in a, I mean the God's nature in a prayer now for you. you now you stand up and close your eyes. Stand up please. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dear Lord Jesus, you know our hearts. We know our burden, you know our burdens now. You know what difficulties we have. And you know our heart to love you. And you like that very much. And you care about us. You want to bless us. And comfort us. Because you have said, my yoke is easy, my burden is light. And you are gentle and humble. And you care about us. You can heal our hearts. You can heal our body. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And you have got a relationship. You want a close relationship with us. We can go deeper and deeper and deeper. Not just a person in the kingdom of God, but we are also your children. We're your friend, and we're your bride. We're in a very close, loving relationship with you. Oh, we want to enter the relationship. We want to enjoy you. We want to be strengthened by you. We want to live in your love. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And you are a healing God. You heal our body. And we can be healed by faith. Just receiving the free gift from you. You have many free gifts waiting for us. You want to give us many good things. We just take your gifts by faith. Lord, we come to you in faith. I believe in you. I believe in your love. I believe that you want to bless us. I come in faith to receive your blessing. I hold on to you. There is nothing to worry about. You take away all our fear and worry. You take away all our sadness. And you give us a great joy. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And you give us a great joy. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And you give us a great joy. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And you give us you want to take away our burdens. Thank you, Jesus. I can be flying like an angel. I don't need any burdens. You carry the burdens for me. Thank you, Jesus. 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 I love you, Jesus. You love me all the time. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.
Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Please consider. Do you feel good? Is this method of Bible study and preaching good? Is it good? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when you study the Bible, every week of Bibiria, don't just look at a superficial meaning. Look behind it to discover God's nature. God's nature is beautiful. God's nature is beautiful. Beautiful. Jesus is beautiful, right? Yes, Sunni Mwiza.